Hey, there you've got your glass. No. <laughs> okay, to make it more like a tea now, let me use more paint before we cover it with the red. Because I want to take some of this and make a cord. A little more shortening just here on the top. Okay, and you can start at the back here and go around right on that edge and then cut that. Okay, and then right here, I'm gonna just pinch that down. So I'm securing it like inside here and right here. Basically just want it to be like a gradual. So once I get all that on, then I need to um, put some more shortening on this. Again, brush is easier. Okay. Now I need to go back to my red and get all this Rice Krispie stuff out of the way. Okay, so I just wanna make sure I knead up my fondant really well, which I've been kneading it here for a few minutes. And then I need it to be about the height of that. And then I need it to be pretty long to go all the way around it. So cornstarch down here, pop this down, take my rolling pin and start to roll. It's not sticking. Okay, how wide do I need it to be? This is how I measure. So a little longer than that, so I'm probably good. Probably. Okay, we ready? Okay, so what we want to do is grab this, let me grab some scissors too, so I'll need those. Basically pick it up, bring it around like this, all the way around. Just get all this excess up there, just to get some of that weight off. And then what I wanna do is just gradually come in like this. Down like so. And here, open this up. This will need to come in. And we can trim some of this. Now, a lot of times, this knife, this palette knife here, is actually great to cut. So, if that's going to go in, I can cut a straight line down here with this one and get that out of there. I like to trim a little at a time. Okay, so let me just concentrate on the front area a little bit. Take some of this excess off in here. And why I have that ring of the pink under there is then you can actually pinch this up a little bit. And with that board in here, I'm pressing that down and in. Okay, then I can come back here in the back, uh, take a little water, open that up a tad bit, get the water in there, close it and then come back with this and make a nicer cut. Okay, oh, that was probably my previous cut there, so just smooth that and smooth this down. If you want less of a seam, you could take either water and blend this together or some shortening. 
but with it being the back, I'm okay with that. Okay, and then we'll just take some of this off the base. You can have the grass down there. And let me look at it one more time from the front. Okay, there you go.